Schroeder backings when I say keep it secret, keep it safe, I mean it, boy. Samwise Briggs here, and I want to share with you guys the top five LEGO Lord of the Rings sets of all time. Before we do get straight into that, though, I wanted to let you know about a brand new set announcement. We might be getting a new Lord of the Rings set this year, and I'm not talking Rivendell. Go check out my full video on this leak, but with no more further ado, let's get into this top five of all time. Coming in at number five, we have the Lego Lord of the Rings set that started it all. Released way back in 2012 for just $20, Gandalf arrived. We mentioned because it did inspire the giant Rivendell set. However, I really do think there's something we can take from these two sets because they're smaller and they're affordable and they're palatable to fans of all ages. And that's something that Rivendell is not. That didn't stop me buying it at one minute past midnight on the day of VIP release though. Anyways, on to number three and one of my favorite scenes from the Fellowship of the Ring. It's the Mines of Moria set. Perhaps the most open and detailed style playset that Lego Lord of the Rings released back in that original wave. It had nine minifigures including this incredible cave troll. Retailed at £70 it now sells for over £270 sealed. We are cutting it down to the wire now with set number two here. Do get at me in the comments with your top five Lord of the Rings sets but we have set 9474 the battle for Helm's Deep. Do hang around till after number one because I have a special surprise for you. I mean damn this is truly a dream set for me. A full castle scale battle battle playset capturing the second most iconic battle in the Lord of the Rings movie trilogy. From custom printed Rohirrim flag stickers to a really complicated modular castle build, this set has truly withstood the test of time. So, you made it. You're a real Lord of the Rings fan and a Lego fan to boot, and you're in the right place. So thanks for sticking with me for number one. Honorary mention of the major release this year, the giant Rivendell set. It just felt wrong to make this video without including this set to some degree, as much as it is an expensive and large set. You can go check out my full in-depth review about Rivendell if you're really excited about that, but I have covered that already, so I really want to get into the juicy stuff here with the real number one and number zero. So the real number one here, you probably knew this was coming, but it is the Tower of Orthanc. Potentially the greatest architectural tower we've ever received from LEGO. Because you stuck around, I want to share with you two really cool ideas I have for LEGO Lord of the Rings that I think could spice the theme up. First idea I've had in my head for quite a while now since the original theme released and it's to have Lego Lord of the Rings battle packs. This would be a really smart business decision for Lego based on the success of other themes. Battle pack army building here, you can't really add to your Helm's Deep set with the Rivendell set. So Lego has really missed a trick here, but those are two of my ideas, an uruk battle pack or a gondol. And one last thing, how do you feel about a giant UCS style Minas Tirith playset? With a brand new Lord of the Rings film on the horizon, the animated War of the Rohirrim series, the future of the Lord of the Rings theme looks bright. And I for one hope it continues to shine as bright as the even star herself. This is Samwise Bricks signing out.